Hello, everybody. Hello, Nigerians. And if you are a parent in Chrisland High School or Kwebi Ikeja, Lagos, I need you to pay attention to this video I'm showing you right now. Um, this is the hospital, the so-called well-equipped hospital that they said they took my child to. Um, first of all, before you get to this hospital from the stadium, it's going to take you about five minutes if there is no traffic. If there is traffic, it's going to take you about 10 minutes. Now, if you look at the entrance of this so-called hospital, you can see a mechanic workshop. You can see women who are selling food. You can see that even if a vehicle we have to drive in here under emergency, there is no way they can drive in. Because there are mechanic workshops who have parked dead vehicles on the road leading to this particular place. Is this where a right-thinking human being will bring a dying person? I can bet you for one thing, if you have malaria and come to this hospital, you will never survive it. This is where Chris Land School brought my daughter. They said they brought her here on emergency. I wonder what sort of emergency this could be. There are a lot of hospitals around. Like I said, you can imagine this environment. This is the frontage of an hospital. And you can see these are just lock-up shops that are joined together and they call it an hospital. You are going to see their emergency unit right now. And besides, this is the only hospital I've seen that does not operate every day. Um, like today being Sunday, when this video is being taken, <laughs> you can see that they said they only operate from 2.30 p.m. In the, in the afternoon to 6 p.m. in the evening. I wonder what sort of hospital closes work when they have patients. You can see the environment. You can see. Can you see? This is the hospital. Can you see? This is, this is what they call the emergency unit. Can you see the emergency unit right now? This is the emergency unit. This is, this is where my daughter's body was dropped helplessly. This is an immunization point on center or unit. Can you see it? Can you see? This is the reception. Can you see? As I'm talking to you, no power supply in this place. The day my daughter was brought here, there's no power supply, nothing. I entered the place in seconds. I was literally sweating. You can see, these are the environment. Please, for an organization as big as Chris Land, just imagine this. How can you say this is the only place you could bring a child? This is the frontage of the hospital. Is it that you did not check, you know, before your inter started, possible hospitals that are nearer? If they are telling you lies, Chrisland parents, one thing I want you to remember is this girl could be your child. This girl could be your child. You can see this video. This is the environment. My media team went there to take all of these videos to show the world, to show Nigerians where they said they rush somebody to on emergency. This is it. This is it. In case many of you have not seen the video clearly, this is exactly the video. Share it with parents that need to see this. Share it with everybody that need to see this. This is the environment. This is the hospital. This is the front of the hospital. This place alone can have one, have cholera. This environment alone. Can you see? This is the hospital. You can see the fence of the hospital is where people are spreading their clothes. Can you see? Can you see? This is the hospital where Chris Land, these are the houses surrounding it, sharing a wall with another dirty environment and dirty houses there. Can you see? This is where they brought my child. So if I tell you Chris Land is unjust, if I tell you they are wicked in their behavior, if I tell you they've killed this child, and they never give her a fighting chance. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is the hospital where my daughter was taken. And every one of you know how Agege Road, that is Moshalashi Alaja Road on Agege, how it looks like. Every afternoon is choked and jump park because it's a very narrow road. But I will also tell you this. I went ahead to look for closer hospital right behind the stadium. There is the Apostolic Church Hospital, Specialist Hospital, 
which is 30 seconds drive. If you drive slowly, it is 30 seconds to the stadium. My child was not taken there. From the stadium to Isalu Hospital, beside a wild hotel, it is just 3 minutes 54 seconds. From the stadium to County Hospital in Oba, it is just 4 minutes. If you are driving on emergency, you could arrive in that place at the County Hospital in 3 minutes. You did not go to County Hospital. You did not go to the Apostolic Medical Center right behind, just at the back of 30 seconds. In fact, if you want to run with your leg from the stadium to this place, you, you will only run one minute. You will be in that hospital. The Apostolic Church Medical Center. If you are walking with your feet, you will only do that in just one minute. If you are using a vehicle and you are driving with speed, in fact, maybe in 10 seconds you will arrive at that place. Because it is just behind. You will be looking at the fence of the hospital while you are looking at, at the gate of um, the stadium. So all of this was not done. You took my, my daughter to this God-forsaken environment and you said you gave her all the medical attention you could give. If your child is still in Christland and you are supporting this school, what I'm going to say is sorry to you. Sorry to you because it could be your child next. This video really eh, supports open the eyes of all parents when their children they attend this school what did i just watch oh my god my people according to the father of the late 12 year old whitney adenira when he be say during their interhouse spot for the stadium way did something for happen chris land school let us know said this hospital is well equipped and according to them, is the closest to the stadium. <laughs> they say the hospital self had matured, qualified doctors and nurses on ground, which I not just see any of this in this video I watched. According to the father of late Whitney, say, in pity for people when he be said they still leave their children for such school. Even pharmacy, my people, eh? pharmacy where they sell drugs, is even better than what I just watched. What is all this for Christ's sake? Why unago they treat people, children, like chicken after much amount of school fees when they, they even pay? Why? See many hospitals, better hospitals, well-equipped hospitals, when you surround that stadium? No, but Chris Land decided that Agege Hospital. Now, wow, my people, the heart of men indeed is wicked. God just have mercy. A child that needs emergency recuperation, you bring such child to this kind of place. And the parents spend huge amount of money for school fees. This is a total no. Well, my people, make on a drop on a comment. How now they see the hospital when Chris Land School rush late 12-year-old Whitney at Denirento when the incident occurred? during their interhouse spot in the stadium. For me, this is highly pathetic. Deepest condolence to their denirans. May God console their hearts and grant this beautiful angel the required justice. Yes, justice must be served. My people, thanks for watching. This is Naval Lebar's blog. God bless you massively. Hit on the follow button. And the least you can do is help me share my video. Guys, share this video. It has to go viral because... The things when these schools they do these days is really not good at all.